Hey team, so this is our last day of freedom before lockdown. So Zozo and I come down to the beach. We're kind of already isolating. Um, and I'm not sure if we'll be allowed to go diving very much during our isolation period. I saw a thing from Fish and Game New Zealand saying they don't want people out diving and hunting and fishing. So um, this is probably the last one. So I'm gonna try stock up on some fish. That's the plan for today down here at the beach and gonna go for a dive out there and Zozo's here as well and we're gonna have a little cook up maybe once I get back so jump straight in the water and before long came across this guy We had a bit of a tussle, but eventually got him to the surface. This is a pack horse crayfish. Got to be 216 millimeters on the tail. You can tell it's a packy because of the three horns on its head and the green on its shell. But because I didn't have a pack horse measure, I need to put him back. hole I saw a butterfish going in. I decided to use it for a burley. On the other side of the rock there was a nice crack that ran quite deep. I thought I might be able to bring some snapper in there and I added a little bit of kinna to it too. My burley came up empty, so I decided to move on. Found this nice little hole full of power and took the biggest one I could see. most power in Northland that you can take home. It was only just legal, but he was big enough, so I put him in my power pouch. I had to look through the rest of them to see if I could take any more, but none of legal size, so I had to put them back.
I moved on and found this nest absolutely loaded with pack horse crayfish but once again with no measure I decided to leave them be. having an awesome swim with this eagle ray and this kahawai came screaming past but I ended up missing it. I decided to start heading back and on the way back found this red crayfish She was unfortunately also too small, so once again, I had to put her back. Alright team, I'm back from my dive. I didn't get very much in terms of fish. Got one little power here. It's the New Zealand Blackfoot Power, so that's going to be quite tasty. I saw a few fish, but none that I really wanted to shoot. On the way home, I decided to take a leather jacket. It's a type of trigger fish. I've already peeled the skin off and taken the head off and the guts, and we're just going to fry that up like a little drumstick. We got some vegetable skiers going on over here. A few little bits of fish. I'm going to whack that guy up too as well. Those are some finished veggie skewers. Pretty cool little posse on the beach here. A bit of chili oil. I made at home. Everything in. All right, so the power's all cooked. We're going to enjoy this and hang out at the beach for the afternoon and I'll see you on the next one.